Murder? Can I have a police act? What's the problem, ma'am? I have a man that's trying to put his hands on me. He has a gun and a legal weapon. Who? The, post, the, the boy, he got a gun Listen. and a legal weapon, and I'm running from him. You're running from him? Where are you at? He got a... Where are you? He got a gun. We just got dispatched to a call at the 1600 block of River Cove. A uh, man with a gun and a woman screaming. He's got a gun and a legal weapon. She's running right now and the phone went dead. We're gonna slide up and see uh, what, sh what we got and see if he's still on the scene. I've been out here before. Let me see your hands. Put your hands in front of your head! Put your hands above your head. Put your hands above your head. Put your hands above your head. Put your hands. Go in and cuff them. Hey man, you don't got to do me right. Put your hands behind your back. All right, I got you. Hey man, you got to get my brother like that. Get back away. Get back. me too. Y'all get off me. Man, what the hell are you doing? You don't kick me. Man. What the hell you wrong with you? Man, what the hell are you kicking me for? Put your hand behind your head. Put your hand. Put your hand behind your head. Put your hand behind your back. Put your hand right behind your back. Put your hand behind your back. We innocent. Man, don't do him like that. He did nothing. Man, he did nothing. He came up kicking. Man, no, he didn't. Yes, he did. No, he didn't. Man, no, he didn't, man. He did nothing, y'all. Come on, come on. He just turned 70 years old. Don't do him like that. Now you're going to turn 18 in jail. Hey, Lord, hell no, man. Y'all just did this for no reason. Man, you're going to turn 18 in jail. Hey, Lord, hell no, man. Y'all just did this for no reason. Roll him on the side. You need to pay for the officer. No. Hey, Johnny, you want to secure him? I'll get this guy. Watch him. Sir, sir, sir. Get on your feet. Hey, sir, where are y'all? Man, you can never Man, I ain't did nothing. You just grabbed me. You see how he doing me, man? And we ain't did nothing. We ain't got nothing. And we ain't did nothing. Man, let me go, man. Let me go. I ain't got nothing. Man, don't bump. Why in your feet? Man, my feet is wide. My feet is wide. Man, my feet is wide. My feet is wide. Man, my feet is wide. Man, my feet is wide. Stop yelling. Chill. 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 Tell him Listen. you know me. All right, Tell chill. I, I know. Did, chill out. Chill. Tell him. Stop Tell yelling. Him I ain't Stop did yelling. Tell him I ain't did nothing. I know. You been on me, man. Stop I'm yelling. I'm like this. I'm hyper. Tell him I ain't did nothing, man. You take your meds today? No, man. Tell him I ain't did Man, what? I ain't got Partner, nothing. Partner, listen. I take off my shoes. Let me take off my shoes. I ain't got nothing. Partner, Look. chill, 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 chill. Listen, listen, me, listen, man. listen. Stop I ain't yelling. Doing Stop yelling. My name is Russell. I know, Reg, Reggie, Reggie, oh, Reggie, know, Reggie, man. Reggie. Shh. Man, y'all keep going to go Calm like this, down. Sir. You know, man, we have spot. I, I know, I know, I know, I know. You know this here, man. Reggie, you know, chill. Know this listen, listen. listen. Did, Calm down. You Calm down. You know me, sir. I've been knowing you hey. from jail, man. Calm down. Calm down. Down. Calm down. Man, I've been knowing you. Let's down, all right? Man, I ain't Reggie, did nothing. I know you ain't did that. She said the only reason why she said that because you went out in the house. I told her to come get her. She don't believe me. She lied to us. You put a gun on her. That is so you know what? Okay, my baby in that sleep. She been all over there bending on the people though, so she came in the house. Okay. She came in the house and stand the door. He said, damn, my baby sleep. She said, I all wear the house echo. So she went back out the house, slamming the door, running her mouth. So he told her that's him how she uh slamming the door like that. So when she went, she got the people phone and went to the street and told my that I don't like him anyways. He tried me. So and told my he pulled a gun on her. When she lying, that boy ain't never carried no gun. Okay. And she said he did that because she, she disrespected him. Right there going in the house, and she done been house several times. He pulling the gun. This ain't even her house. This guy was supposed to, this, yeah, they're fighting over her. This guy was supposed to come at her, and they started a verbal argument there. They came at her. She got afraid. She jumped the fence, came back to get her stuff. He swung at her. She got scared, called the police. She said she never said he had a gun, but in the call it says, yeah. Complaint has a gun. Man, please, man. Please, Listen. man. Hey, man, please, man. Told to you, saw it something. I ain't okay. did nothing. We're please. gonna talk to him. We're gonna go meet him right now. Man, no, man. I ain't but did see, the, the problem. You, listen, the problem isn't the problem isn't with her. It's with us now because when we came here, you started getting angry and started yelling. 
And no, then you I'm wouldn't do what man. we are saying. I'm always hyper. I Anybody know. Anybody tell me to judge, even tell me to be quiet, man. Well, I'm always Reggie. hyper, man. Man, Reggie. you can't do this to me, man. I ain't did nothing, man. You even know me, man. You know, know. I'm always like this, man. But now, you listen. When you, when, talking when, last time, man. When you, when Come you, on, you I know I took you to jail for, for the same talking, thing. Man, when you got talking, all, man. You, I ain't doing nothing, man. Because you get all agitated like this and you start to struggle. Sir, please, man. I can't afford this, man. Please, man. I ain't did nothing. She lied to me. I can't afford it, man. Please, I got a newborn yeah. baby, man. It's right there in the house, man, on the couch, man. He eight weeks old, man. I yeah. cannot afford this, man. Well, I listen, haven't did we, nothing, sir. We'll do Please, man. We're going to take him to the district, too. I, I, I know him from it, the man. past thing. So yeah. got yeah. nothing, do a, no, if I, I can't afford I mean, it, man. We're, we're going to do a resist with him and then battering Leo on his brother. So he's going to be a resist. He just gets agitated. I've had the same thing. He went to jail for the same time last time. Try to talk to him. He gets agitated and he starts to struggle. Okay, go ahead and get him out of here. Don't take me all the very first guy you're having to resist. Resist, resist. The second guy that took a kick at him, we're going to do battery Better male and resist. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. All right. And the female, we're going to cut her loose and she's out of here. She's gone. Both females yeah. are gone. Yeah, the other yeah, one's already gone packed gone up all her stuff. All right. Are you guys all right? Loose. Yeah. I'm fine. Just, all right. Johnny, you all right? Yeah. Johnny's got a cut on his elbow. I From popped my thumb out. From the second guy. The second guy. When I went to the ground with him, it okay, you all right? My arm, all right. Yeah, he, he, Johnny's a big guy. He's all right. Okay. All right. Thank Everybody God you are here. Good job. Thanks. Being a police officer, like they say, you're always a police officer 24 hours a day, and that really is true. I find myself when I'm with my family or, or whatever, we'll go to dinner, and I'll never sit with my back to the door. You know, it's just you always want to be facing the entrance. Um, Something will happen, a car will pull out in front of me or something of that nature, and I'll, uh, I'll get the license plate down, and it's just, you know, just instinctive to do that. Right now we're en route to a call. We have a uh, complainant says that his neighbors are disturbing his dogs. Normally it's the other way around. Normally it's the dogs disturbing the neighbors. There he is. That's a big old dude. You know that as well as I do. Common sense. Dog barks at you and you spray him with water. What do you do? Spray him with water? I guess. You can see all the way up here on my porch. We had had our McCall out here. In his cage. And he's wet. Go get Merlin. Yeah. The dog the bird? Yes. A thousand dollar bird I had up here in the cage. And they wet him. I'm tired of it. Okay. I'll file charges. That's fine with me. I'll be glad to file. Who, now, who, who are the individuals that are spraying the boys water? The lives right there. The boys that live in this yes. next door house. Okay, let's check out Merlin, see if Merlin's okay. Huh? This is Merlin here? Yes, this is Merlin. Can he talk? Yeah, yes, he can talk. Can. Why don't y'all get him to talk for me real quick? Uh, it's hard to get him to talk for people. Is it? Merlin? Well, he wants to. Merlin? Step up. Step Come up on, on the fence. Step up. There That's you the go. Pretty bird. Hey, don't come over here and bite me. Look at you trying to sneak over here. No, oh, he, 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 he don't normally bite. He don't bite. When he hard. does, he, he don't. He doesn't he don't bite, bite hard. hard. Pretty bird. All right. Oh, he wants me to scratch his head. Hey, buddy. All right. Did I make a friend? Step up. Oh, oh, don't do that. Stop that. <laughs> I didn't make a friend. <laughs> he does that when he, he's just being competitive. He's pretty, pretty aggravated because he was squawking and carrying on to his. They were spraying that bird. Yeah, bird. beautiful bird. Yeah. If he yeah. gets sick, I'm going to be very mad. I don't blame you. Well, I'm going to go over here and talk with him this real quick. Thousand, this, I don't this, know this. what the problem is. Well, they've turned the lights out since. Yeah, they, they just now turned them out. Uh, um, they sit in there at night. They drink beer and they cook the pot. I'm sorry to say that. That's God's right. truth. All right. I've well. been guilty of going over there and smoking pot in the past, but I've stopped it. I haven't smoked it for years. Okay. I don't mind telling you about it. Are the dogs barking when they come outside when they come or something? Out, out here, Anytime there's people come outside, they're going to bark. Okay. okay. So a week ago, Rodney walked out here at 1 o'clock in the morning where you're standing at, up against that fence, standing there just looking over with a bird in his hand, just standing there looking at the dogs. Didn't say nothing to him. I laid in that window is this, and I watched him. Is this Rodney? That's either Rodney or Mike. I'm not sure. All right, well, let me, let me go talk to these. I'll be right back over here. How you guys doing? What seems to be the problem, guys? I, we can't even work in our front yard without their dogs barking at us for 
hours on end. People can't even walk down the street without their bark dogs going nuts. And the only way I can get them set up is I'll spray them with the hose. Okay. You know, it ain't This neighbor hurting. right here came down and told us that he was making some remarks today about calling code compliance on my yard being messy. And I'm like, my yard is not messy. It needs to be mowed, but it's not messy. You know? And she also said that he said when his foot gets better, he was going to go over, over here, here and stick it up both our asses. <laughs> and I was like, you know what? I'm not going to deal with this no more. I don't talk to this man. I don't deal with... I come home. I go inside. I do my yard work, and that's it. Okay. I never well, talk to him, but I don't need my neighbors animals, coming down. I understand that, and I understand, I understand that the dogs barking can be very, very annoying, okay? And... The only thing, only problem we have is they do actually have a very expensive bird over there. And in the process of you guys, hold on a second. In the process of you guys squirting those dogs, trying to get them to stop barking, and I don't you, squirt them. Okay, well, whoever, whoever did, the they're That's claiming that you got the, got the bird wet, yeah. okay? They said that during the process that you got the bird wet. And that's another thing. And if, if you're familiar with the... Ringing noises and all kinds. It's loud. Okay. It's loud. You can do it all over the neighborhood. Hey, that's all right. We'll just call the animal control tomorrow right. and we'll make it. Yeah, that, that, that would definitely, well, honestly, that'd be your best bet. Um, he's mad right now, okay? So I'm just, let me just tell you, don't... Don't spray them with water, okay? You're just adding fuel to the fire because the man, he, he's mad. Now, if they get out and they come in my yard again, I'm going to spray them or do whatever I want. The main little one that barks, the little brown one that barks, he gets out and comes in our yard. If I catch him in my yard, it'll be held pay. I walk down the sidewalk going to the store. His dogs start barking at me. I don't do anything. I just keep walking. And he's yelling out the window, good dogs, get him, get him, good dogs. And I'm like, you know, that just eggs them on too. Exactly. You know. Exactly. So. Sounds to me like he's just as much to blame as you guys for spraying him. So what y'all need to do is try to work together. Okay, that's been going on for a year, but y'all haven't been called out until tonight over the sparking feud thing. Okay, but. just don't spray the dogs, okay? Okay. All if right. they bark, I'll just call town. I'm going to go back over here and speak with the actual original complainant. <laughs> What I did was I talked with them and they explained to me and about the dogs barking. They say how it's real annoying. They can't even come out here and work in their yard. Um, they've, they've got complaints of their own. I mean, I'll be honest with you, if I lived over there and the dogs were, but you know, it probably, it probably gets annoying to you when they start barking. It gets annoying to me, but that's what I've got the dogs out here to let them know when somebody's running. Yeah, I understand that. I've got that's... a bunch of stuff sold around. Exactly. And if the dogs don't bark, then it's, they're no good. I understand. Hopefully, I mean, you guys got to live beside each other, you know, if y'all can just work things out. I mean, because obviously neither one of you are going anywhere, right? Well, so, I, own, I own this house now. Right. So just, just try to do the neighborly thing, you know, and just work it out together. Sometimes we have to be mediators with these people out here, and uh, hopefully uh, they'll be able to live together and or beside each other, but tell you what, they almost had to break up me and the bird, it bit me on my finger, and have a domestic between me and the parrot there, Merlin. The most common misconception uh, people have about cops is every time they see them, they think they're about to get pulled over, they think they're gonna get a ticket. You know, even me, when I'm driving around now, and before I became a cop, whenever I saw one, first thing I do is take my foot off the gas and look and see how fast I'm, I'm driving. Now being on the other side, I know that nine times out of 10, a cop's not looking to give you a ticket. He's usually on his way to a call, going to help somebody, not just there to ruin your day with a ticket. One of the main reasons I became a police officer, was several years ago, my brother and I had uh, got into an incident where we got mugged. It was a 12 on two situation and we were trying to be as passive as possible in that situation as anyone would be. And it didn't turn out so good. And it really uh, frustrated me from that point on. I got involved in self-defense and street martial art fighting, and I thought that if I really applied myself, I could be a good police officer. Go ahead and get in behind him so we pick up some speed and then get in behind him. We got some information that uh, a probation violator suspect is on probation for a dub charge is headed in this direction. We're about to catch up to him and see if we got anything else on him besides the probation. Red Patrol play it real cool. Uh, just do a regular TV to get him out of the car as soon as possible while you can. You ready?
over right now at your center uh, bridge with 13 standby signal. Got drive license insurance with you? Insurance? Yeah. Magic? Okay. All right, step on that car with me for a second, all right? Okay. All right, originally pulled you over. You're going a little fast today. And uh, we also got a little information. You may have a probation violation warrant for your arrest. Okay. Violation warrant for my arrest? Yeah. You ain't got nothing on you, right? Uh, no knife gun. And straight up in the air, okay? Straight up in the air. No, but, uh, you may have... Is it cigarettes or what? Cigarettes and what? Okay, you got quite a bit of money in there. You selling something? What's in there? Does he have something in his pants? Yeah, what's in there? What's in there? If you have anything in your shorts, man, you can let us know. Shorts or what? Yes. Huh? Yes. Underwear? No, it's in my pants. So what's what is it, what's be? this, ma'am? Ecstasy? Ecstasy? You have any more of this on you? I imagine you were going to need to have a seat back there, all right? find out what he's got and he'll be under arrest for possession narcotics and we'll probably be taking his money this guy here uh, had that stuff on him try to get a narcotics officer out here that way they can uh, make sure that's what it you know he said what it was he said it was ecstasy but we'll get a narcotics officer out here and he makes sure what it is what you want to go ahead and hold on to that yeah he's got quite a bit in there we'll take this one of those for a felony so George 214, are there any available narcotic units uh, monitoring this channel right now? Right there. They've had that movie over there off of uh, Brentwood or whatever. Okay, boy, just to let you know, we got a narcotics unit that's going to be coming over here talking to you guys just to make sure uh, so make sure everything I've said to him is, is already covered. Exactly. So, so they should be here in a little bit. Okay. You have the right to remain silent and not make any statement at all. Any statement you make may be used against you at court in your trial. Any statement you may use may be used as evidence against you in court. You have the right to have a lawyer present to advise you prior to and during any questioning. If I have some questions for you, you ready to talk to me about something? Okay. Where'd you get that stuff at? Back in Arlington. Where were you taking it? We can do in downtown Fort Worth with a lot of eggs. And clubbing. And I'm not guaranteeing anything, but obviously the more help you can give us, the more help you can give yourself. Are we gonna have some narcotics officers gonna show up and probably ask you some more questions and stuff, okay? So the more cooperative you are, the better it is for yourself. And we, we appreciate you talking to us about it, all right? Okay, you basically said he got it in Arlington and that he's about to head downtown Fort Worth. I got him pretty much say specifically where he was gonna go. He said he didn't have any specific areas that he always hits, but he's gonna hit one of the clubs down there that we all know well. Pretty much 
delve into it there and divvy it all up. He said he didn't anticipate getting rid of all of it tonight, but he was on his way to do just that. So. Good pop. Very good. Excellent. All right, we'll take.